So, let me just show you guys the packaging and everything like that. So, this is the bag that the hair came in. So, this hair is from You Amazing Hair. So, this is how their satin bag looks. And then I just have, like, the packaging left over. So, this is how the hair will come in these type of bags. And then it will be marked with the actual inches on it. So, this hair that I actually have in is the Peruvian Deep Wave hair. And the lengths that I have in are a 26, 26, 24, and a 22 with a 20 inch frontal. I don't have all of the bundles in. I will let you guys know that in just a second when I show you what I had left over. And the frontal does come pre-plucked, but um, I did still have to pluck it. And then the way that it was shaped, I did have to cut it off a bit. So, you know, I still had to go ahead and pluck it myself. So I've been wearing it in the middle part. I haven't worn it any other way yet. But I really love these curls. And if you want your curls to be really fluffy then you know you won't really use much product maybe a little bit of conditioner or something like that maybe to tone it down just a bit but i remember like the very first day i wore it i barely put any conditioner and it was like really big and you guys know i like to define my curls a little bit more so i've been applying a little bit more um yeah i've been applying a little bit more conditioner to the hair so that it can be more tamed but it still gets really big and pretty and in the mornings i'll just shake it out which i really like about this wig because if you get this hair as a sew-in you know it's so much more maintenance you have to get up in the morning and wet your hair down let it air dry before you leave especially since it is cold well the weather has been crazy like it's been hot cold hot cold so you know you don't want to get sick so if you're going to get this hair i definitely suggest the wig because you can wet it down at night literally just set it up to dry and then whenever you get up and get ready to put it on you know it'll be good to go and i just kind of shake the wig out a little bit to break the curls apart a little bit and i'll also scrunch it to get rid of any crunchiness from the conditioner drying in the hair so this is what i had left over i had this piece of hair and then i also had a full bundle left so the bundle that I had left is a 22 inch bundle, which was the shortest bundle that I had. And then this is a piece of the 24. So the hair kind of goes from 26, 26, 24, and then to a 20 inch frontal. I didn't even cut any layers into this hair at all, but it still flows nicely together, probably just because it's curly hair. But yeah, this is what I had left over. So I have a full bundle and then I'll show you guys this. And this is how the curl pattern looks it is a little bit frizzy because it's been just in the bag but this is how the hair looks this is a look at the wefts and everything the wefts are really nice on it and yeah it's a really pretty color as well i can see a lot more brown in the hair it is still kind of like a 1b but it kind of has more of a 4 to it if you will like it's kind of more brown so yeah i really love this hair let me come up close so you guys can see you can the lace is not the thinnest lace like some other lace wigs and stuff that I have. So you can kind of see it a little bit, but I just disguise it with putting some baby hairs over it. And then I have my middle part. And then this is the hair. Sorry, y'all. I'm in my onesie, but I want it to be comfy. So I love these curls. The ringlets are super, super pretty. And then this is the back. This hair is really pretty. As far as shedding goes with curly hair, it does clump together. So you are going to get some shedding sometimes. But it's not... With curly hair, it's really good because it's not shedding throughout the day. And you're not combing out the hair at all throughout the day. So you don't really have to worry about shedding much until you are actually wetting the hair down at night or whatever. And you are brushing it out. And I just use my dimming brush and the conditioner that I like to use is the Suave Naturals Conditioner. I find that the conditioner is more of a thin consistency, but it still hydrates the hair really nicely. And it helps to tame the frizz and all of that. And I just feel like it makes the curls pop and they look really, really pretty. So yeah, that's what I do to this hair every night. I just wet it down. And I will put a curly hair routine down below for you guys, but that was with a sew-in. So it is a little bit different because I can just literally set this hair out to dry overnight so yeah i've been loving this hair it's really really pretty but also to apply this wig what i've been using is the gorilla snot gel and then i will use a little bit of the got to be spray and i just put it like on this little section right here and go ahead and 
you know glue it down or whatever and then on the edges because it's not showing like if it's windy of course your hair will fly back a little bit but it's not like gonna fly back or fall off or something like this we don't even uh gel this side down or glue it down or anything or this side i just glue it right there in the middle i do have an elastic band on so that's a really easy way that you can put your wigs on every day or whatever if you don't want to use all of that gel and spritz and stuff like that but if you want to you can definitely go ahead and you know glue down the whole perimeter area but i find that it's really easy to just put it right in that section and it holds it perfectly but you do have to make sure that you go ahead and apply the wig before it dries like sometimes it can still feel a little bit tacky and it will hold your wig in place but if it's not wet enough to really hold on to the wig and dry like that then your wig is going to slide back and i have had that happen to me yesterday actually i guess i waited too long because i haven't been using a blow dryer i'll just apply it and then wait a second for it to get tacky and go ahead and put the wig on like i'll keep on doing my makeup and i guess i waited too long but whenever i put the wig on it was holding i did my baby hairs and everything the wig was not sliding back and then probably after maybe an hour or so i i didn't even feel my wigs shifting back at all so you will be looking crazy so do make sure that you glue it down in time but i did not feel my wigs shifting back at all um i just happened to go to the restroom and i think i got on my phone or something and whenever i looked in the camera and i seen that my wig was like back here like you can already start to see my real hair coming out y'all i was so done like what the hell so yeah don't make that mistake i usually like to tie my hair down like go ahead and apply it tie it down and let it dry like that to be sure that it's not going anywhere but lately i haven't been doing that i haven't even been tying down my baby hairs or anything like that i just use a little bit of eco styler gel on them and they hold in place all day and it's not like too crunchy because the eco styler is more like water-based like it's well, I don't know if it's water-based, but it's not like a thick gel like the Gorilla Snot or the Got To Be gel. So I find that it works great. And yeah, I just love this hair. I just really wanted to come and do this video for y'all. I don't want to ramble too much. But I love this hair and you guys have been asking me so many questions about it. And honestly, I cannot remember where this hair is from at all. Because I had made the wig a while ago and then I was like, okay, let me wear this curly wig that I made didn't even really pay attention to the bag or anything like that whenever I went ahead and put it on. So every time someone has been asking me on Snapchat, my response is literally video coming because I had no clue what length this was, where the hair is from, what texture it was, anything like that until today when I just pulled out the bag and was like, okay, this is where this hair was from. Like I could not remember for the life of me. But yeah, I love this hair. It's a really pretty, great summer hair. And if you want to do it in the winter time or while it's still cold, definitely go ahead and make you a wig out of it. But it would also be very pretty hair to get a sew-in with. But I wouldn't suggest it for the colder months because you might get a little sick, honey, unless you diffuse your hair and you got time to be doing all of it. 